Warning, this video may change how you view addiction forever. We're about to explore a very controversial question. Will addiction ever rule the world? The answer might surprise you, especially when we consider the full spectrum of addiction in our modern time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. Today we are diving very deep into the world of addiction, a topic that affects millions globally regardless of the faith, backgrounds, or cultures. I'm your brother Wa'il Ibrahim and in the next few minutes inshallah ta'ala we're going to explore addiction through the Islamic lenses while uncovering scientific research that impacts all of us. We will cover not just substance addiction but also the growing concern of behavioral addictions in our digital age. So let me throw at you some statistics here. Studies have shown that addiction with its various forms affects 21% of adults worldwide and that includes not only substance addictions but also behavioral addictions like gaming, gambling, social media, and of course pornography. Now, Islam, our beautiful religion, recognizes the destructive nature of all sorts of addictions, viewing it not just as an individual failing, but rather as a societal issue. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he addressed addiction in the Quran, he talked to all the believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, إنما الخمر والميسر والأنصاب والأزلام رجز من عمل الشيطان فاجتنبوه لعلكم تفلحون all you who believe, all of you, most certainly intoxicants, anything that clouds the brain, anything that controls the mind. And that's why one of the main objective of Sharia, why the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was revealed to us is to protect our mind because that's the one thing that differentiate between yourself as a human being with intellect and animals. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us anything that intoxicates the brain or get control of your very mind, as well as gambling, fortune, and telling and so on, all of that are Satan handiwork. So abstain from such handiwork so that you may prosper and become successful. And subhanAllah, this holistic approach of the Quran aligns with today's modern discoveries and scientific research, which considers biological, psychological, and social factors as contributors or main contributors for addictive behaviors today. But anyway, if you are still confused as regards to what type of addictions am I referring to, here is a break down for all of you for your reference inshallah ta'ala. We have, as we mentioned earlier, substance addictions and underneath can go alcohol, drugs, whether illegal drugs or prescribed ones. And of course, the most common ones like nicotine, weed, and so on and so forth. Then we have behavioral addictions and comes on the top pornography, super prevalent among youngsters and older generations as well. Then we have gambling, gaming, social media, online shopping, and even food and eating disorders. Orders. While all of the above, my brothers, my sisters in Islam and everyone, may seem so different from one another, all of them share very common neurological pathways in our brain. They all, with no exception, activate the reward circuit in our brain by releasing certain chemicals like dopamine which get in control of our very actions. So here's a question for all of us to reflect on inshallah ta'ala. Why addictions seem to be like gaining ground in our life? And here are a few reasons for you inshallah ta'ala. Number one, the power of technology. Smartphones and constant internet access have made potentially addictive behaviors more accessible than ever. From social media to online gambling to hardcore pornographic websites, the temptation is just one click away. Number two, evolving substance availability. Beyond traditional drugs, we're seeing nowadays new challenges like e-cigarettes, vaping, and even designer drugs. Number three, societal stress and disconnection. The rising of stress level and social isolation have created a fertile ground for all sorts of addictive behaviors, as people may seek escape or quick relief through these temporary pleasures. Now, how our beautiful religion, Islam, have offered a unique perspective on combating addiction, which could be suitable for everyone, not necessarily Muslims. Number one, for example, community support. The concept of one um provides a built-in support system where everyone is interested about the growth and goodness of everyone. Number two, what is known to so many people, mindfulness, which in Islam, alhamdulillah, it can be actualized through prayers, 
prayers, dua, supplications, adhkar to constantly remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number three, purpose and meaning. We as Muslims, alhamdulillah, we were created for a higher purpose than just amusing ourselves on the internet or becoming addicted to anything or enslaving ourselves to anything. Islam emphasizes on the life's greater purpose for which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have created us for and that is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to please him as much as we can. So let's now address the big question. Will addiction ever rule the world? The short answer, my brothers, my sisters in Islam and everyone is yes and no. No, if we could only take the following actions seriously, inshallah ta'ala. Number one, educate yourself. The more you know, the more you grow. Educate yourselves and others on the harms and the risks of both substance and behavioral addictions. Number two, foster a genuine connection with the community. Don't ever be alone. Don't ever isolate yourself. In other words, avoid being lonely at all costs. Be an active member of the community to be able to combat addictive behaviors. And number three, love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger more than anything in this dunya. And that will help you avoid this instant gratification that you sometimes gain through your addictive behavior. See, my brothers and sisters in Islam, the power to prevent addiction from ruling the world lies within each of us. Whether you're a Muslim, Christian, an atheist, or even anything in between, addiction does not really discriminate against anyone. We're all in this together. So unless you take the necessary action that you know will bring about goodness in your life and prevent you from falling again and again to your addictive cycle, there's nothing going to be resolved. And in that case, addiction will definitely rule the world and will enslave you to your desires instead of enslaving you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because at the end of the day this is why we were created to enslave ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have not, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created jinn nor mankind except to worship me, to enslave themselves to me, to obey me. That's why you're here. You're not born to do porn. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. So my brothers, my sisters in Islam, if you found that this video is beneficial and can help someone out there in this dunya, then please share it with your circle. Don't be shy. Don't think that because you're going to share that video, people will think that you're addicted or something like that. But rather, wallahi, that share button could become your savior on the day of judgment. If someone came across that video because of you, and as a result, they freed themselves from the shackle of their addictions. So be a reason for others to be freed, inshallah ta'ala. Remember, every small action counts. So jazakumullahu khairan for watching. And if you are someone who's struggling with this compulsive behavior to anything, whether substance or behaviors, then I would recommend you to seek a professional help. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. Jazakumullahu khairan. Until next video, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.